some years, there has existed an ongoing partnership between the billionaire Elon Musk and NASA, based on their shared interest in exploring the vastness of space. And if NASA is partnering with someone as crazy as Elon Musk, then you can be sure they are coming up with something extraordinary. We are not disappointed. The successful testing of their new engine, a fruit of many years of collaboration, has brought them closer than ever to fulfilling a dream many of us have, a dream to someday colonize Mars. Following years of experiments after experiments, they have revealed a light-speed engine faster than anything the aerospace industry has ever seen or experienced. It almost feels like it defies physics. This new engine is unique among the rest of its kind because of its ability to endure the meteorite ordeal and successfully journey to Mars. But like with any other new invention, there have been concerns within the scientific community about the capability of this new engine. Elon Musk has always expressed the hope that humans by 2050 will be able to make successful voyages to Mars. Musk has a track record of grinding out results. Therefore, his partnership with NASA to realize this dream has been followed with high optimism. But as expected, the process is not without hurdles. Moving humans to and from Mars was never going to be child's play. First, why do we need such an innovation as the light speed engine? Mars is the fourth planet in our solar system. Its distance from Earth is around 140 million miles or 225 kilometers. A rocket moving at an incredible speed of 15,000 miles per hour would still need at least seven months to get there from the Earth. Modern rockets use methane as their primary fuel. This is in place of kerosene that was in use for rockets before. To make a successful journey, enough fuel must be prepared and loaded on the rocket before it departs from the Earth. The question is, given the average rate of combustion, which is 11,000 pounds per second, what amount of fuel and space for fuel would a rocket need to make the journey to Mars? The simple answer is, a lot. This is usually factored in during the design and building process of any rocket intended for that purpose. The weight and fuel efficiency of a spacecraft must be balanced during its design process. In light of the journey to Mars, looking at the current set of spacecraft, the larger proportion of the compartment contributing to their weight would be dedicated to fuel and supplies, while leaving very little space for the astronauts. So what challenges are we envisaging? Having enough fuel for a journey to Mars and back remains a challenge, even for engines built to be fuel efficient. This is why the successful missions to Mars so far have all been robotic missions that use rockets with less weight, given that there isn't any need for the crafts to use extra fuel and supplies that a crewed mission would have needed. The challenge ahead is not lost on even Elon Musk, as he's admitted that the kind of voyage he's planning will be difficult, dangerously cramped, and would need more fuel added to what is an already heavy spacecraft at increased costs. The third rule of motion, which stipulates that the action and reaction forces are equal in size and opposite in direction, this, Newton's law, is the foundation upon which rockets are built. This theory was incorporated into the design of the Falcon 9 space shuttle and the current spacecraft under production. These spaceships rely on thrusters to produce thrust. Methane and oxygen usually combine during combustion to produce a hot exhaust that is directed to speed up the takeoff. The law of spatial relativity dictates that objects obtain more mass the closer they get to light speed. But the new light speed engine is intended to break this existing rule, as it is designed to move without a propellant. Rather, it is designed to work by enclosing ions in a loop, getting them up to moderate speeds, then changing their velocities enough to change the masses of the ions. 
the engine will be structured like a helix, resembling a string that is stretched out. No part of it is expected to be moving except the ions that are trapped inside electric and magnetic fields, moving back and forth in a direction to create the needed thrust. To create thrust without using fuel, the light speed engine is going to use controversial electromagnetic drive technology. NASA scientists made the observation that any rocket can achieve a faster and farther propelling into space than any previously employed propulsion system if the electromagnetic vibration or ion can be focused on a single direction. The idea of propulsion without propellants is not entirely new. David Goodwin oversaw a NASA project in 1990 that pioneered the field of propulsion physics intending to create a propulsion mechanism that is propellant free. But it was Roger Scheuer who created the first device to demonstrate how the idea of a reactionless drive may operate in real life in 2001. With all its great potential and promise of carrying humanity further into space, why are some scientists wary of the new light speed engine? Since its first demonstration in 2001, scientists from across the world have further demonstrated how electromagnetic propulsion will operate. However, critics have raised caution, saying it is still unclear how the propulsion would operate in practice since the tests were not carried out in space. The cost of adopting an electromagnetic drive must be taken into account. Adopting electromagnetic drive would warrant extensive research, which would cost no small amount. NASA has already allocated $5 million to this pursuit, and one cannot say as of now the extra amount of money that will be needed to complete the engine. For any rocket to achieve the kind of momentum that is intended for this light speed engine without a propeller, another scientific law is bound to be broken. This is the law of conversion of momentum, which dictates that the momentum of an object will remain constant when there is no external force. Due to the idea of momentum conversion, which is deep-seated in applied physics, it doesn't look achievable for this new engine to exceed the bounds known and accepted in physics and is applied to all known kinds of motion. Meteorites travel toward the atmosphere of Earth at a speed of 120,000 miles per second. If they come in contact with objects in space, they blow up violently. While they burn up when they enter the Earth's atmosphere because of friction with our atmosphere at such high speed, even before reaching the surface if they are not large enough. With our awareness of the fact that a meteorite is made up of cosmic rocks with enough strength to survive entry into Earth, we are compelled to ask whether an electromagnetic driven rocket can withstand a similar impact. Traveling at the speed of light as proposed, these rockets may be up in flames on arrival on Mars, which would mean all the work was for nothing. To slow down the descent in previous landings on Mars, rockets were fired towards the ground. If the new light speed rockets will not use thrusters, how are they going to land successfully? Much to the satisfaction of detractors, a team led by Martin Tashmar from Dresden University showed a defect in the light speed engine. The Mars atmosphere has enough density to burn the rocket at entry and the rocket would need to possess a real propulsion system to prevent that. According to their experiments, a light speed engine may be practically impossible. Their study suggests that the thrust could come from some other electromagnetic reaction, but not from the electromagnetic drive. This research is claiming to discover errors that other researchers may have missed. NASA has tried to douse the skepticism of scientists. A NASA-funded study conducted a series of tests that studied an electromagnetic drive in conditions that are similar to the ones in deep space. The test results showed a thrust-to-power ratio one to four times higher than the values predicted for the drive. 
There is a need for cooperation and consideration of new ideas when talking about space. Roger sure defended the electromagnetic drive, indicating that the negative tests were conducted on flawed designs and should not be taken seriously. However, NASA and Elon Musk have a lot to do to perfect the engine. It is impossible to dismiss it as a valid option for the future of space travel. The completion and launch of this engine will mark a significant step forward in the journey of humanity toward becoming a multi-planetary species.